Hey there guys, this is Evan Kozloff. I'm here at Jacksonville Beach. I just want to show you some of the damage that we have right now. Mother Nature is just showing off right now. In the shadow of this symbol for power, these shoes are a symbol of something totally different. Row by row, they're a call for help. This really is America. We've got people from both sides. Eventually, the protesters, who we now know are from Greenpeace, made their big reveal, a massive 70 foot by 35 foot banner reading resist. They say that he did have one rifle shot to the left hip and that bullet actually traveled through the pelvis, fracturing bones, injuring internal organs. This is sort of the place to be. It is very busy right now. Literally thousands of people are here. You can see many women with their fluffy pink hats on top. So exciting. We want Vegas. Let's go Vegas. Bring it. Fortunately, right now we have an update where we could say that there were no injuries, which is really remarkable when you look at the visuals here right now. Right here too. That's a P. Yep. He a P. He an OG actually. She's working. She's working. We also saw a lot of victims, girls and boys working the streets. Right here to our left. So training. This is Jared Ramos, arrested for the horrific shooting. And to find out why he did all this, detectives have been combing through his Laurel home. This was probably the first protest for many of these young people, so it was a bit of a civics lesson. Being scared is not really going to change anything. There are mothers who lose their children all the time, and we don't seem to give a damn. It all started last Friday on the 1st. That's when the racist photo in the old yearbook first surfaced on big league politics. We heard mostly from the front runners, Biden, Bernie, Harris, Mayor Pete. They combined for, listen to this, 47 minutes. Yeah. Incredible. Incredible. Tremendous. Scherzer's pitching tomorrow. I think we got it, honestly. We're going to win. We are going to win. Media, out of the roadway. Let me set the scene. Protesters took over the road, blocking it with this silver car with a person attached to it and this red van with two people on top. Eventually, it was towed away. The people were still on top of the van. Show me what the looks like. So this is the group right now. We got about 100 people that are here. They're walking down uh, 15th Street. And again, as we're talking, another gust of wind coming through here. So we are starting to feel Barry's effects here in Baton Rouge. Here are the headlines people across the country are waking up to. President Donald J. Trump, the 45th president, impeached. There are a lot of rumors online right now about the coronavirus. That's where our Verify team comes in. Evan Kozloff here, uh, both talking about last night's debate. Uh, Michael Bloomberg, it should have been his night, but he looked as though... He just wasn't accustomed to people coming at him like this. He had the most to lose, for sure, because right now he's got a halo above his head. We're here right now uh, on Black Lives Matter Plaza, just outside the White House, where people have flocked here just one day after the historic projection. Former Vice President Joe Biden is projected to be the President of the United States. There are some 20,000 National Guard members that are here in this city because of the security concerns, obviously, after everything that happened on January 6th. We've got these two that pulled up on a canoe right now. Why'd you do this? Uh, basically because, you know, this is the opportunity to, to get out and, you know, paddle down King Street, and why wouldn't I? And we're talking about hundreds of people. Let's show you just how long this line is. In the end, 450 boosters were given out in just a few hours. Uh, I'm going to say the cliche. I just have to. It's a winter wonderland out here. You know that at least once in this broadcast, somebody would have to say it. You're getting the parents' worst nightmare. That text I, saying, <laughs> I'm hiding under a desk. No, it, must, I, it was, it was, I was in tears. For the color of your skin, people don't like you. It's, just, it's not fair. It's just trauma. And then we have to find a way to, to get the help we need. They just dropped in our, in our backyard and just destroyed it. They just destroyed it for one day, but we're going to put it back together. And for the next generation, they offer this message. You have to be involved. You can't just ride on the coattails of people before yourself. You have to stand up and be counted. Honesty to yourself and honesty to other people that you love is the most important thing in the world.